Linda Matthews in here once again to help you get up off the couch into action because so often we know what we should be doing, we just aren't doing it, right? So today what I want to talk about is one of the things that sucks the energy right out of your soul and doesn't leave you anything for which to get up the couch to get up off the couch to do something. You know what I mean. So what is that thing? That thing is your power. We all have energy, but where we use it is always, you know, <laughs> different. And, it, and we don't always choose. We're not always aware of where we're like leaking energy, so to speak. So this topic is about giving your power away. So first recognizing where your power is going. So for example, I have a two-year-old and I have a three-year-old and they're both boys and they like to beat each other up. It's getting better now. But yeah, Sean was beating up Sam before Sam could even walk and I was like a walking heart attack pretty much. So I was basically giving them my power. I was relying on them to keep me sane. Does that make sense? Instead of being responsible for my own sanity. I was being pulled around by whatever they were doing. And it still happens sometimes. But now that I'm aware of that, I can rein it in and say, these are kids. I'm the grown up. I'm the one in charge here. And like that. So that's one example. Another example is, uh, maybe you can relate to that one. I don't know. Um, I just got this new music app on my iPad. And if you have ever taken any of my classes at Lifetime, every time I put music in, whether it's the iPad or the CD player or whatever, I've tried everything, it always like breaks. So I got this new app. And I was trying to play it for my online class. Like just now, I'm trying to play it and it won't work. It won't work. I can't make it work. So maybe it's a general generational thing. But basically, it's it wasn't working and I was giving it my power. I was letting it drive me crazy. You know, like it is what it is. So why add drama to the already existing drama? So I was giving my power away. And it's like, why would I do that? I, there's so little, you know, like we have a finite amount of energy, then we go to sleep and we build it back up and we do things during the day that build it back up, hopefully healthy things. We can talk about that later, but in another episode. But if you're giving away your power to electronics and babies, then what are you going to have left for yourself? I know I'm not the only one that does it, so that's why I'm sharing this, so <laughs> maybe you can relate. But okay, so let's get down to like what we can do about this. What, I mean, give me some something to do here. So right? So the first thing is to recognize it. Who are you giving your power away to? Or what are you giving your power away to? Are you arguing with your computer? Are you arguing with traffic? You know, are you arguing with uh, your Metropolitan Transit Authority, for example? I know I've done that too. Um, you know, what are you, are you giving your power away to? First, become aware of it. Number two, and this is sort of vague, but if you can get your mind around this, then, then you can do it. But step number two is to consciously and very much on purpose, take your power back. Whatever that is, doesn't need your energy. You need your energy, so keep it, you know? So consciously be aware and then consciously take your power back. Now, it goes without saying that if the situation came up that drove you crazy once, it's going to come up again. So what do you do about it the next time, you know? So what I suggest is to see the drama and the 
potential energy suckage as an opportunity for poise. You can think of it as an opportunity for poise. You can think of it as an opportunity for growth as one of my, um, the child rearing book that I'm reading, Scream Free Parenting, they tell, they suggest the parents grow up and calm down. I love that. So you can think that too. Calm down and grow up. Grow up, calm down. Um, so it's an opportunity for poise. So how can you not buy into the thing that's giving the drama? Like, it's, uh, think about the whole, one way to do it is just think about how small we are. We're on this little rock that's orbiting around a big ball of gas out in the middle of, we don't even know what. So, I mean, how significant is it that uh, we can't get our music to play on the iPad? See? So, <laughs> It's an opportunity for poise. And another way you can you can take on this perspective is um, I think it's Robert Allen in his book As a Man Thinketh. It's just a super small book, been around forever. The last chapter, it's like two pages. Read the last chapter. Read it out loud to yourself. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go get it right now. Robert Allen, As a Man Thinketh. The last chapter, I'm serious, go check it out. It will get your head in the right space for your opportunity for poise. So that's it, that's the three steps. Number one, identify where you're giving your power away, where are your energy leaks. Number two, consciously take it back. Three, the next time this sort of situation comes up, the same situation or a similar situation, view it as an opportunity for poise and don't layer the already existing drama with drama from yourself. That's giving your power away. All right, so hope that was useful. Let me know how that comes up in your life in the comments below. And as always, I'm hanging out in my Fit and Healthy Tribe every day, so please feel free to come and join me. If you like these videos, then you will find my group very helpful indeed. And I'm there and I will get to know you better and it'll be awesome. All right, bye.